Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Hello, hello. Welcome to Command and Conquer Remastered. This is Command and Conquer Red Alert, and I am shoutcasting a free for all game today. We have eight players here. Bike Rush owns pick the Octori, Etienne, Footscal, Bapsitus, Ma Mad Fish Biscuit. Sounds yummy. And Chris G. MH. So I, I'm not going to be calling them their names. There's too many to, to track and remember. But I'm going to keep an eye on Bike Rush Owens because he's, I think, safe to say the best Command and Conquer player in the world. And he's been streaming a lot of the CNC remaster since it it's came out. Now, I'm really confused. I don't know what happened here. He must have sold his refinery, which makes no sense to me. Anyway. Uh... I actually had a look at some 1v1 games to cast, and they're all pretty bad. So my, my general thoughts on this remaster is that I'm sure the campaign is fine, but multiplayer is, like, not that fun. It's just, like, really imbalanced and, and kind of goofy. And, um, I'm done playing it. I, 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 I stopped enjoying it pretty quickly. And also, like, shoutcasting 1v1s is kind of lame as well. Um, but hey, free-for-alls and team games might be fun. So we'll definitely do a few casts of this and see how it goes. I did look for the first five minutes or so of this and it looked pretty nice, so I think this should be a good game. Because I think in free for alls you get a lot more license to do kind of goofy stuff. 1v1s is just like very hardcore in terms of tank spam. Now one of the things that's really hardcore about the CNC remaster, and, and by CNC remaster I just mean like how CNC is originally because they didn't change the gameplay at all is that low power mode is absolutely awful. Like when you run out of power, your build speed is like 1 20th of what it normally is. So sniping power is a really good strategy. And when you're playing, you definitely want to have um, a lot of spare power because low power mode is a really big deal. Now we are seeing some infantry come in, but infantry are pretty bad. Uh, we'll see them get crushed up, no problems. Um, by those harvesters. Meanwhile, Aqua here is getting a bit of a two-pronged attack. Green has a lot of tanks and riflemen, and they're doing okay, but there's also attack from Bike Rush owns the yellow player with these medium tanks. Again, going for the power, that's, that's kind of what you'll generally see. Sniping the power, um, take that production away. Poor Aqua, in a bit of a rough spot here. Now the command says, I actually can't like change this UI at all. Maybe I can like minimize it or something. Oh, right, yeah, there you go. Nice. That's good. Meanwhile, Pink has been doing pretty well in that he's been unmolested, let's say. So he's going to be able to expand towards the center using the, the silo trick, getting some refineries on the crystals, so getting extra cash in a free for all. Getting bogged down in, in, in a fight typically doesn't end that well. Still haven't still haven't seen um, Purple yes, recover. I can't see what his build queue is, Agreed. but hasn't Agreed. been able to get any power up yet. Construction complete. Oh, how do I get rid of? How do I get rid of? Oh, there it is. Okay, back to no fog of war. Yeah, <laughs> Pink's but blowing up the trees. That's interesting. Can you even blow them up? I have no idea. I, I guess not, because he, he's, he's trying. Oh no, he did! He blew up the tree! Okay, interesting. So, that must make it uh, easy to path through. So, pathfinding in this game is generally okay, he says with hesitation. But, but where it goes really bad, where it gets really tits up, is when you're going through a choke point. If you're going through like a little bridge, or a little ford in the river, that's where pathing is bad. So. Widening those choke points, perhaps for the best. We are seeing, however, Red go for some of these harvesters. Actually, aircraft. Now, aircraft is kind of weird in this game because they don't do much damage, but also there isn't much anti-air in the game either. All you have is rocket infantry and base defenses. There's no vehicles that counter air. Anyway, it looks like the main players in this game is going to be yellow versus pink. These are the only players that have been aggressively expanding towards the center. The other players have just been either fighting to the death, or in the case of blue, just turtling up on his base. 
And the thing is with, with this game is the ore runs out really fast. It's, and it, it regenerates um, much, much slower than what you would expect coming from, say, Command & Conquer 3 or... I guess I'm not so sure about Red Alert. Red Alert 2 or OpenRA. Um, but yeah, it runs out fast. So you have to be very aggressive in terms of your expanding. And that's why a lot of people, when they play this game, they just pick like silly resource maps where the whole map is, is resources. Okay, big attack here towards Bycrush. She is moving in to defend. Let's see how this one goes. Neither of these players are actually um, moving their tanks around. There, there we go. So the way that the whole micro in this game works is tanks while moving take 10% damage. So you want to make sure your tanks are always moving. But the problem with um, moving is they don't shoot while moving by default. So you have to issue Q commands. Anyway, so a bit of a frenzy here. I don't really know how I can shoutcast this other than saying tanks are shooting at tanks. That's, that's indeed what's happening. And there isn't really any micro from pink. Or, or blue, uh, yellow either, sorry. Bike rush. Hmm. No turrets are being deployed. That can be good to add those in. But the war collectors are being prioritized, it seems. Anything else happening around the map? Bike rush actually going for a counter attack rather than... Um, Defending his harvesters. Interesting. Red's going in. Oh, Green also wants a bit of the action. He's feeling left out. Wants to join the party. However, he reconsiders when he sees a whole bunch of yellow tanks. Also, it is a bit laggy. Uh, that is actually in the replay. That's not my recording. The game overall is quite laggy. Even replays, apparently. Well, it looks like Pink still has the biggest army of tanks. Bike Rush didn't really um, fare too well in that fight. Although, Pink has his mining slowed down a bit, but still has several harvesters and a refinery there. Black Rush, however, has two refineries, but what, no harvesters? So he has one harvester here. I think that's it. <laughs> purple and uh, red. Well, Purple managed to finally recover, finally getting a power plant after, like, several minutes. Um... He hasn't done that much. He's kind of stuck in his base as well. He's going to run out of my uh, ore really fast. Blue's just chilling. He's just camping. He's turtling. He's he's playing no rush twenty. He doesn't he doesn't need ore in the map. Fortunately, this is not Command and Conquer Zero. You cannot build black markets or Chinese hackers in your base. When you run out of cash, you really run out of cash. Oh, pink went for a tech lab. Okay, managed to get the, the rocket off, but uh, now his base is going to get destroyed. Oh no, only, um, it was only a few tanks there. Buildings are also super squishy in this game, so having um, a sneak attack into your base is really brutal. Your base can go down extremely quickly, even your command center. Conyard, I should say. Command center is like a tech building in Tib Dawn, I think. MCV, Conyard. I know, I was playing with Brian Barr, he, he was giving me some sass for calling it a command center. Now, if Pink is smart, he would just let Blue chill. Blue isn't a threat to anyone, he's just turtling in his base. But, it, but even the middle of the map's been exhausted, so even though this was an 8 player map, the money is starting to run out. There, there is two main patches left that no one has touched yet, but uh, that's kind of how these games go. Is yeah, you get you run out of money really quickly, and then and then the game slows down. Oh, pink caught out of position. His tanks were in his main base. Green went for an attack. Pink has the massive army, but the pathfinding is is definitely. Um, Working against him now, his tank army is split up. Still looks like he's able to outnumber and ward off green. Bike Rush now coming in. I'm like, I'm calling Bike Rush Bike Rush because he's a person that I actually know. <laughs> Some reason Bike Rush has an engineer. All right, looks like orange has been eliminated by red. Nice work, red. Now green's gonna be the next to fall. Oh, but. 
but Bike Rush also going for his own attack. Once again, Pink caught out of position. That is the brutality of a free-for-all for you. But where does he go with it? Hopefully not into the base of blue. Now there's something crazy about uh, CNC is like, these Tesla coils have nuts range. Something you don't quite think about after playing open RA. You're like, wait, what? These things outrange artillery? Anyway, he's going to the main base of pink. He's firing at the Conyard. It's going down so quickly. I don't see a service depot, so he cannot rebuild the MCV. Also going for the War Factory as well. That's going to eliminate any vehicle production. I don't see a barracks. So this is it for pink. All he has is quite a lot of tanks. He could actually just end the game with his tanks. Bike Rush has basically nothing. He has an MCV, uh, sorry, a War Factory. I don't see what happened. I don't know what happened to his. Maybe he sold everything off. I don't know, that's weird. Pink? Oh no, you know what? I bet you it's going to be Blue who wins this game just by turtling because everyone's been pummeling and bludgeoning each other, but Blue has not. Red actually in an okay spot too because Red has a lot of ore nearby his base. Purple, however, also has some ore there. Bike Rush is mining it too, however. <laughs> Going for the power, well... Yeah, what does Pink do in this situation? I don't know, he can't go for blue, there's just too many units here. Now, normally turtling is an awful thing to do, but when it's a free-for-all, I mean, sure, it can work out pretty well. But trying to turtle. <laughs> he only has, is that only one or, no, no, he's got three, three harvesters. Oh, he's crushing all the infantry. Oh, he didn't split the infantry. In that situation, you want to press X. X is a hotkey to split an infantry up. It makes a very big difference. Bike Rush pokes the bear and reconsiders. I swear Blue is actually AFK. He isn't even doing anything. <laughs> well, what Blue should really do is prevent this mining. He, he should really try to protect the ore and get it for himself rather than letting Pink get it. Now this is an important battle because who, who wins this versus purple and red is going to decide who gets all this ore. Pink going for a counter attack on Bike Rush. Looks like Bike Rush is out of this. I just assumed he would win this. <laughs> Selling buildings off. Uh, that's, that's his only power plant so if he loses that, bad things will happen. Yeah, there it goes. The last of his power. It'll now take him another 10 minutes to build it. And while Blue's chilling. While all the ore's gone. In, in near Blue's base, that is. Red has actually some money in the bank. Although he doesn't seem to be building anything. Go, down goes his war factory. Okay, so purple's in, a, in an okay spot as well, but again, the, the ore matters. The ore's gonna run out, and so preventing red from mining the limited ore is more important than killing him. Once he gets to the barracks, I think the best play would be to just go out on the map and take these harvesters down so that all of this ore would be mined by himself. You know, he wants to finish him off. Okay, well, he's gonna get, he's gonna get the kill, but the consolation prize is gonna be a half depleted ore field. Still, there is more ore on the map, and it, it is regrowing. It just takes a really long time to regrow. Bike Rush still in the game. He has power, a war factory, and, and refinery, so he's able to still, still actually do stuff. He just can't build any infantry. Uh, doesn't have a mini map. Can't build, you know, anything other than medium tanks really, which is basically all you need to build anyway. But. <laughs> Our, our man, the, the the AFK hero. No, he's not AFK. Look, he's calling down paratroopers, getting free units. Has a lot of tanks, a lot of rocket infantry. Uh, Bike Rush is going to find some Tesla coils and rocket troops for his troubles. He can't repair these tanks either. There's no service depot. Uh, there, there's quite a fair bit of power here, so even if he snipes one power plant, should be okay. Although he may get two. What is he doing? Oh, there's no service depot. Now, that's another really important thing, is 
you, you want to build a lot of excess power so you don't get power sniped, but also you want to build excess of conyards, or, or at least just have a service depot, because you need the service depot to build your MCV. And, and conyards are extremely fragile. It is not at all like in Zero Hour or CNC3 where the command center is really tough. In this game, your conyard dies super fast, and if that happens, you can't build anything. If there's no service depot, you can't build an MCV from a factory. Also, having multiple conyards make you build structures faster in the same way that having multiple war factories makes you build vehicles quicker. So having multiple conyards can be a good way of really quickly deploying a Tesla coil or just pumping out like five or so war factories. All right, I, I hope this is going to actually um, turn interesting. I hope Blue does something because this could be really boring if he just sits there chilling, eating a kebab. Um... FaceTiming his his missus while while purple does stuff. Well, I guess hey, don't count bike rush out. Did, or did he lose his his um, ore collector? Where is it? I think he actually must have. Yeah, I I don't see ore collector. Pur purple must have killed it. Now purple has his conyard factory radar power. So so by all means, purple has everything he needs. He has the map control. All he doesn't have is fifty billion tanks and rocket troops and tesla coils and stuff um, so let's see how this goes I mean hey I got nowhere to be I can sit here and watch this AFK cast <laughs> oh his allies isn't he oh that's so bad so the problem with with this game is it's just extremely imbalanced and one of the units that are absolutely awful, of which there are many, is the, the artillery. Because the problem with the artillery is it doesn't actually outrange anything. It has like really short range. It's like a medium range weapon. So you can't use it as you would expect. You can't use it as artillery, which is the name of the unit is artillery, except it's not artillery. It's just a really pointless bad unit. Now, what you can do to snipe Tesla coils is use the longbows or the attack helicopters, but there's a lot of rocket soldiers and they'll shoot those aircraft down very quickly. So there isn't anything that he can do here. If he were Soviets, he could at least use the V2s to do stuff. And also, um, man, I don't even know what super weapon allies gets. Is it the ion cannon? Oh, that's that's GDI in, in Tib Dawn. Do they get a nuke as well? It's probably just a nuke. They probably just both get nukes. Okay, whatever. Nukes are pretty bad. I guess they'll kill infantry okay, but they're not going to be against tanks or buildings. Nukes are, are pretty awful. Chronosphere won't really help him because there's, there's just stuff everywhere, so... Yeah, there isn't really any way to close this game out. Like, people trash talk super weapons. Like, oh, super weapons are for noobs. Don't build super weapons, ban super weapons. But th they have a role to fill in the game. Like, if, if I'm talking about that zero hour, you, the reason why you would build a scud storm or a nuke or a particle cannon is is this when 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 your opponent does this like you, you just can't really do much about it at least in zero hour you have artillery so you'll have like a a nuke cannon inferno cannons a tomahawks buggies so even without super weapons you can just get artillery and, and snipe stuff but on, but on top of that you can just get a scud storm and just blow the base up in this game like i don't i don't know what you can do I don't think you can. You, you, what you would actually be best off doing is just like mining the whole map up, which will take you ages because the ore respawns really slowly, building up a massive army of like 100 tanks and then just moving in and killing everything. Because the Tesla coils are strong, but they're pretty weak, so you can just you can overrun them pretty easily if you have enough tanks. So that, like they're good, but they're not like unbeatable with with regular conventional means. Um. When you have a stack of them, though, it's pretty nuts. So, and the problem too is I can't fast forward this. There's no, there's no speed controls in the Spectator client. So, I, I'm all out, man. I don't know what to do. Uh, also, oh man, these. So, like, is this really bugged out? Building. Yeah, all collectors can be a little funky. Um, this game can be kind of kind of buggy. 
Anyway, um, what, what you could do is he could build another MCV and then deploy it over here and build a refinery. Or he could just creep down silos. It's probably better to just creep silos. There we go. Man, it kind of sucks though as a spectator. I can't see how much ore they have. Oh, no, wait, can I? No, I can. Sorry, I just have to select the player. Man, they held him up for a while though. Unit ready. Building. Um, anyway. Yeah, so, how are you today? Are you well? I can make small talk. See, see this is a problem solo casting, right? If Blake is here, Blake and I would bro out and be bros and just rant about stupid stuff. Like, yeah, man, so something that happened in Hearthstone, because Blake plays a lot of Hearthstone, and then I would rant about, I don't know, studying at university. Yeah, I'm a uni student now. That's basically my life, is I'm um, studying English and history at the University of Western Australia. So, I guess I'll turn this into a vlog at this point, right? Um, I've, I've mostly stepped away from Stardock. I'm still doing videos, I like trailers for them and stuff, but apart from that, I'm a uni student. Um, I think it'd be cool to be a history teacher. I love history. Growing up, um, like watching, you know, like World War II movies and, and playing like medieval games and just history has always been like something I thought was awesome and as an adult I would still like watch YouTube documentaries for fun so I think teaching history would be mad also teaching alternate history such as when Einstein creates time travel and then they go, they go back in time and kill Hitler so that the Soviets create an alternate World War II situation i.e. the plot of Command and Conquer Red Alert yeah, sorry. Oh, he's, he's building artillery. I'm sorry to say, bro, but artillery is awful. Um, what was I going to say otherwise? Yeah, so I have like a uni break coming up soon for about five weeks because I, uh, I have an exam next week and then I'll have a bunch of, of time off. And um, so I'm probably just going to like stream a bunch and do a bunch of shoutcasts because I'm going to have all this time. And um, yeah, it's kind of hard to find like volunteer work or like actually paid work for like a five week stint rather than like a weekly thing well finally bike rush goes down i mean i'm guessing bike rush like quit the game maybe what it could have done is like if he really wanted to maximize his profits build an engineer capture it and then um sell it off for money anyway no, Blue is actually still in the game. He's building spy planes and stuff. Or, or sorry, using the spy plane ability. Spy plane, ready. So yeah, that's that's my life. Um, I've been doing a unit on medieval history. Unit on... That is a crate, what? A unit on um, English literature and one which is like communications in practice, which is a... Um, it's kind of like a uni prep course, except it's actually a, a class that you get credits for hmm well is this gonna end in someone just quitting in like purple getting bored like if, if I was playing this honestly if I was purple I'd probably just quit I'd just be like man I can't be bothered playing this game well let's see how the artillery goes Pretty sure it'll just get outranged and one shot by Tesla coils, if not just like overran by um, by tanks. In open RA, the artillery has a lot of range and it has like crazy splash, so it murders infantry. I've actually I, I played a couple of games of open RA recently. Open RA is so good. Playing these remastered just makes me want to play um, open RA because like the balance is so nice. It just like feels really crisp. It, it also like looks really pretty as well because it, open RA adds in wrecks. Like when a tank blows up, it has this wreck and this, it lasts on fire. So like even though it's like old graphics, excuse me, it, it just actually looks really pretty. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, they're pretty good. Oh yeah, oh, yeah actually, so they're good against infantry, I suppose. Which isn't really a big deal anyway because infantry kind of is easy to kill. I guess what maybe what he could do here is artillery to snipe the rocket troops and then use aircraft to snipe the Tesla coils. Except he'll just do this where he just pulls his infantry um, behind the Tesla coils. 
Okay, now he's going in for an attack. Oh, he's pulled the rocket infantry out of position. Oh, and he hasn't responded. The Tesla coils are going down. Oh, blue. Oh, no. Now he's responding very, very late. Or he lost his Tesla coils. If he goes for the Conyard, there'll be no more buildings. He's, however, going for the power. Power's going down, but so is the army. Blue is eradicating this position. The tanks are crumbling. Blue hardly lost any of his army. All he lost was two power plants, two Tesla coils. I doubt he even went low power mode because he only has a single Tesla coil. So I think Blue's just going to win this game now. Interesting. Okay, I'm actually glad the artillery did something there. It, 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 it did make the infantry go away, made them out of position. Um, but ultimately, yeah, Blue got <laughs> paused, the game ended. Blue could have played that a lot better. Um, but GG. I get, that's, it's like kind of sad that he won the game just by being an AFK turtler. But hey, it's a free-for-all. And there's no super weapons that are good in this game. So anyway, that was a free-for-all. That was actually a fun game, apart from the, the end being kind of boring. So, yeah, I think, like, so long as you don't take this remaster too seriously, it can be fun. But if you, like, expect it to be this, like, interesting, well-designed, well-balanced, polished multiplayer experience, it's, like, really not. And if you want that, play Open RA. But I think goofing around can be okay. So yeah, I might do some more like 4v4s or, or free-for-alls. Um, I did actually ask Blake if he wanted to cast today, but he didn't get back to me. So I was like, whatever, I'll just do it on my own. Solo YOLO as we say, but thank you for watching. I am Callum McCall, GG the Machine of the General's Gentleman. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll have more uh, CNC coming. Also, ma mainly we'll be doing still Zero Hour and Company of Heroes and all the other previous CNC stuff. I kind of imagine, you know, by a month or so later, like not only will I kind of be overcasting this, but also I think the hype's going to wear down enough that people don't really want to see it anymore. They'll be like, okay, back to Zero Hour content. And I'll still do, still have some games to post. So anyway, this would just be a little, a little detour. Apart from when I eventually do more open RA, because like, man, that game is so sick. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.